close your eyes and watch your breath. Feel the breath coming in, feel the breath going out. Feel how the body moves as the breath comes in and out. And notice what kind of rhythm feels good. Does long breathing feel good or shorter breathing? How about deeper or more shallow, heavier or lighter? Try to see what the body needs right now, because you're going to have to settle into the present moment, so you want to settle into a good place, a place where it's comfortable, a place where you feel stable. Why do we come to the present moment? Because we have to watch our own minds. We spend so much time watching the screens on our little handheld devices and don't know our own minds at all. They tell us all about the world. This is one of the reasons why we ask you to turn off your cell phones when you come here, so you have a chance to look at your own mind instead, because there's a lot going on in the mind that needs to be trained. Life contains all kinds of things that you're going to have to handle by yourself. You can't call somebody else up and ask for the help on it. Things like when age, aging comes, how are you going to handle that? When illness comes, how do you handle that? You can go see a doctor, the doctor can give you medicine, but still you've got to recover. And In the meantime, you've got to make sure your mind doesn't add a lot of suffering on top of the illness. As for aging, there's not much of a cure for that. You can hide it for a while, but the more you try to hide it, the more it starts showing up in unexpected places. And not just in terms of your looks, but also just in terms of what your body can do, how much you can trust the body. How are you going to handle that without suffering? Of course, there's death. I mean, how are you going to handle death without suffering? The mind is what creates, creates a lot of problems around this, and if the mind isn't trained, it's going to create something that's going to go deep down inside it. So what you've got to learn how to do is take some time to train the mind so that it doesn't go off in directions where you don't want it to go. This is why we focus on the breath. It gives you a very clear place to know when you're with the breath and when you're away from what you decided you wanted to do. If you slip off, you come right back. Slip off again, keep coming back. Each time you come back, reward yourself with a really comfortable breath as a way of making the mind want to come back. And after all, it'll begin to feel more secure here. And then you can watch it. You can see when greed begins to move or when anger begins to move or delusion, hatred, jealousy, any of these things that are unskillful. And you can decide, I don't want to go with that. That's what gives you power over the mind, so that it doesn't create the suffering. The Buddha compared it to being shot with an arrow. The aging, illness, and death are like one arrow, and then the mind's suffering is, adds a second arrow on top of that. And you can imagine what it's like you've been shot by an arrow, and then you turn around and shoot yourself again. Just the act of shooting yourself hurts, and then the second arrow, of course, hurts even more. So why do that? It's because the mind isn't trained. If the mind is trained, if you can get some control over it, okay, then it can do a lot of good for you. So take some time every day, every day. Look at your own mind. Make sure you can keep the mind where you want it to be. Keep it from wandering off. And then you can direct it any place you want to, and direct it away from any place you want to. If you find that that type of thinking is causing suffering, okay, go think about something else. Focus your attention someplace else. Learn how to observe the mind's tendency to create suffering and ask yourself, why do you do this? What does the mind get out of it? We have our old habits because they used to serve us well, but as we go through life we begin to discover that old habits don't always serve us well. We have to develop new habits of mind, new ways of understanding ourselves. And that's what the meditation provides. So give the mind some time to be by itself. Don't always be connected with everybody else. Connect with yourself right now, right here. Because the most important lessons in life are learned right here, and you have to do this by yourself. You can get advice from other people, but the actual work is your own work. Nobody else can do it for you. There's no app for meditation that really makes us, that can really substitute for it. So make sure you stay right here. Give yourself some time to be by yourself and train the mind so it can be your friend instead of your enemy. <laughs>